All right, now here's a quick crankbait guide. Here's nine of the 12 colors that we're offering. But these colors, um, you can kind of duplicate them with whatever crankbait you like to throw. But, you know, I generally throw different crankbait colors by season, watercolor. Uh, those are the two main, main factors, season and watercolor. Um, when I'm looking at dirty water, this is my dirty water side over here. Uh, you know, I've, the chartreuse black back, it's kind of a, uh, it's a standard color. It's one of the best colors ever. To me, this is a, this is a summertime stained water bait. But you can also, it's a great fall and summer color. Um, this is more a, a better stained water in the spring and summer. Uh, and anytime I use this, this fire tiger color, um, you know, it, it seems like rivers and, um, you know, any, anywhere that has tannic water, like in Florida, that type of color water, that bait, you, that color works great. Uh, this is a great, anytime that the water is super stained, it's got that, that silver sparkle on the side, it's got a chartreuse belly, um, it's kind of a chartreuse blue back. It's good in the spring, summer and fall, anytime that the water is real heavily, heavily stained. This is the uh, spring crawl. It's called the spring crawl for a reason. It's, it's got a little bit of a red hue to it. It's got this yellow and uh, dark brown back. That's probably the best springtime, you know, any, any, you know, from slightly stained to, to stained uh, color there is. That's spring crawl right there. That's probably my favorite springtime color. This is also a great spring color. Uh, anywhere that you have red crawfish, I've seen red crawfish in South Carolina, all throughout the South, uh, and especially in California. That's uh, the red, it's called blood crawl. It's, uh, it's, a, it's kind of a translucent red. It's great anywhere clear water, stained water, it's really good uh, in the springtime especially, but you can use it, you can use it anytime. Um, this is a, like a root beer type color. Um, that root beer is really, really good in the spring and in the fall. Uh, you can use it in the summertime as well. This is, this is one of the best all-around colors there is. Uh, this is a, like a clear chartreuse color. Um, this is a great, great summertime color. It's great from the water's a little bit clear. It's got that translucent look to it. Um, it's kind of iridescent. Great in the fall as well. Summer and the fall are the two best times for, for a shad pattern. Uh, this is another one of my favorite shad patterns when, when you get a little bit more stain in the water. Uh, this is probably a better color. It's got a little bit of a chartreuse hue to it. This is called Cellmate. It's got, got that uh, bluish pearlescent back to it. I mean, just a just a beautiful color to watch in the water. I mean, this is one of my favorites. Uh, this is kind of uh, a little bit different color. This is called PB&J. It's mostly a brown with a cross stripe on it, and it's got this this bluish, uh, purplish, white belly to it. And it's it's uh, it's it's a different color. You know, I've only thrown it a little bit, caught some fish on it, um, but I'm really excited about this color because it is so different. It's very much like a brim, very much like a brim. So I think. Uh, you know, late spring could be a, a real good time for this bait. Anytime that you're fishing clear water, uh, this one this one could be real, real good. I'm, I'm really optimistic about the times to, to throw that PB&J. Um, but that kind of gives you a little, little overview. Um, just to recap, uh, you know, I use more of the chartreuses in the spring and anytime there's stained water. And the brown backs seem like to, to be a, a good fall gener generality. And then in the spring and in the fall, anything with a shad pattern is pretty hard to beat. So uh, just, just try to keep your crankbait color simple. Use what you, uh, you enjoy. Uh, stick, with, stick with some basics and you should be just fine.